Hey, have you ever been a bit scared to hire someone or to grow your team even further? Maybe you teach on your own and you're scared to hire that first person. Uh, maybe you've got two or three people and you're scared to build it up to five or 10, 15 people. Um, today, I've had um, conversations happening uh, with some music school owners around this topic, them feeling like, oh, I just don't know if I should you know, get to that next stage. Maybe I should actually go backwards where it was easier, where it was, it was just me. Um, and then I've also had that same conversation with a plumber friend who's just got a two-man business and he's like oh, I just don't know if I should build that team and get to that next step so if that's you wherever you're at if you're thinking like oh, the step I'm at is kind of like the safe zone I'm going to stay here I just want to show you something that I um, have experienced in growing my school from uh, from zero staff being just me on my own to having over 60 or about 60 team members uh, it's a pretty crazy thing to go through, but what I realized along the way is that growth is not, let me draw something for you. Your growth is not like this. You don't just grow oh, like nice in this nice line where you just kind of, you're just growing and growing and growing. That's not, that's not how it works. What growth really looks like is kind of this. And there might be some, you know, going up and downs, etc. But what happens is you, you get to one of, let's say you're at this level here, right? There's actually always this big hurdle to get to the next step. And that's the bit that's scary. So for you, maybe it's like, you know, going out on your own, teaching full time and ditching your other job or, you know, um, you know, maybe you were teaching at three or four different places or schools or for other music academies and going out on your own, that was that first scary step. Now you're teaching on your own. Um, and then it's like, oh, the next step is oh, I'm going to have to hire someone else. Um, and now, and then for the next step, you might be here, like I've hired one or two people. Maybe it's an admin assistant or a second teacher. And then it's like, oh, I need to hire, you know, maybe the opposite. Now I've got the admin and the extra teacher. And then you hear, you're like, oh, now it's, I need to get more teachers. Or maybe it's even like, oh, I have to get my first commercial space. Or um, I need to build my second location. Or I'm going to build an extra, you know, online aspect to my school. Maybe it's courses or a YouTube channel or whatever it is. I'm going to diversify my income. All these steps are like big and scary things. But those are the steps that most people don't take because it's really comfortable at that next level you've got there. But what you need to remember is like that this used to be totally uncomfortable, the step that you're at. And so you have to think like what are the things that you value and what are you working towards? And you um, so with that, you're going to think through things like um, an obvious one is if uh, you want to be able to own a business or a job. And I've talked about this a lot. Like, do you if you teach on your own and you're doing all the teaching, even if you're on 100 grand a year, uh, you still just own a job if you're on your own. Right. And that's hard to hear. You don't really own a business just because you might have a limited company or uh, you're a sole trader or something like that. You know, something some piece of paper from the government that tells you you have a business. It's not really a business. You just own the job. You're your own boss. You're self-employed, but you're an employee of yourself. It's not really a business. Like, if you are sick, you can't work. If you want to take a holiday, you're not getting paid. And so you have all these limitations. Um, so you need to think, is that something I value? Do I want to actually build a real business? And if I do want to do that, well, I need to build a team. So if they can run the whole business and I can take a month off or a week off or have a sick day and still get paid, all those things. Now, um, the the next big steps are like, they are scary, but you have to think like, what's what are the things that are like pulling me this way to make this decision to not go there? And what are the things that are pulling me this way to go there? And you have to weigh that stuff up, like think through the pros and cons and think through what is my life going to be like if I go through this step? And what is it going to be like in the next, you know, five days, the next five weeks and the next five years? Because as you start to ask yourself that question, you realize, actually, I'm going to really regret it if I don't take this next step. Um, because my life will totally change in the next three years if I take this step. If I don't, I could actually stay here forever. And maybe you're okay with that. Maybe you're the type of person that's like, hey, I've built my, my studio up and I've got to 70 grand a year or 100 grand a year and I'm happy. I'm just going to settle here. 
But if you do have that drive and you want to keep going and going, um, and you enjoy that hustle and you enjoy building something, you want to have something to sell at the end, you got to take those big steps. Now, we don't just take them blindly, right? We do our maths, we do our projections, we, we weigh up pros and cons, we look at things from creative angles, and we look for ways that we can stretch and get through those hurdles without massive, crazy amounts of risk. So there's going to be things like you know, saving some money. That's just like a key one. It's going to be making sure that we or uh, we ourselves have the skills that we need. Do we have the support around us, either from uh, people that are kind of mentoring us or if we're in a program like the Band Squad, our Build a Music School community, do we have people that are like helping us, giving us the encouragement, the tools to speed it up, um, expensive resources to fast track that progress, all those things like that. So you got to think through, like, do I feel like um, I am supported to take this step? Yes, it's still scary, but uh, it's a whole lot less scary because I've got, you know, maybe the money, the support, the encouragement, the expertise, the prior knowledge from someone who's already done it, or, or if you're in the BAM squad, like 300 people that have already done it. Uh, that's going to help you take those steps. And just remind yourself, like, um, you're going to, regret it one day if you never took it and just stayed there and so I encourage you like take those steps um I, th I think back to like all the kind of bold crazy moves I took in building like this um, massive school with all these different things uh, we did and sometimes those steps were crazy you know we um, built up at one point to like four locations um another big crazy step was actually cutting down to two locations and then that actually went so well that we then cut down to one massive location. Um, so those were big steps in a different direction. Usually you would think that you'd go one location, two, three, four, but no, in this case it was like a big scary step to go to one, because when we went from four down to two, our numbers actually shot up because the experience was so much cooler with more people in uh, a smaller amount of sites and we're able to use the resources better. And then we're like, well, maybe we can do that again in a year. And then we did it, and it just exploded. And so that's just one example. So there's going to be heaps of crazy steps for you to take. And there's going to be lots of invitations which you could turn down, and you can just end up staying at a step. So think it through carefully. I encourage you to um, take some bold moves, because uh, final story. If you know some of my story, one of the things that kicked me off for starting my music school, I was playing in a bar one night and uh, another band was playing at the bar a few um, a few doors up. They came down to watch us on a break. I looked at the bass player while I was playing and I was like, that guy is old enough to be my dad. He does what I do. He teaches in schools. He teaches private lessons. He gigs. Here I am at like two o'clock in the morning on like a Wednesday night and he is coming out to watch me on a break and he's been teaching at schools and private lessons during the day and he's playing a gig at two in the morning i'm like 23 or something he's probably 53 he's old enough to be my dad if i don't change what i'm doing now that's going to be me in 30 years and so that made me think man i got to do something different. So that's not a story to insult you if you've been doing the same thing for 15, 20 years. I only make these videos for the people that are like, man, I want to do something else. I hear you, Johnny. I want to go through these steps. I want to do something a bit more exciting, grow my skills, be challenged, build something. Uh, and I just want you to have like the best music teaching business that's possible for you. So uh, any questions, you reach out to me anytime uh, for any help. I've made literally every resource I have available from how I went from zero to 2,000 plus a whole bunch of resources from our BAM Squad members available. You can grab a free seven-day trial down below and you will uh, get access to a whole like bunch of stuff, just tens and tens of thousands of dollars worth of stuff that will help you on your journey. Um, and you get it for peanuts. So um, grab a free trial, take what you want, um, and hopefully you'll love it and stick around. If not, take what you want, and I hope it helps you. Any questions you want answered or things you want me to talk about in the vlog, uh, drop a comment down below, send us an email at buildmusicschool.com. Uh, we listen, and we will film uh, what you request. Take care, everyone.